Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's the 18th of November 2020 and we've just had released the F14A. As well as that, included in this video, several changes for the F14B. First, let's look at the scope. It's important to say it's not just one version of the F14A that's coming out. There are three. The F14A-95GR Early, which was uh, the F14A for the Iranian Air Force, also, the F-14A-135GR Early and the F-14A-135GR Late. This is the one that's come out on the 18th of November. These two will follow in the coming months. And if you re want to read a bit more, you can see the differences between these three subversions of the A. Next, let's look at the differences between the one we've got, the F-14A-135GR Late model and the Bravo model. So first, systems and changes include, obviously, the older, less efficient, less reliable TF30 engine modeling, including mid-compression bypass circuit. So in the front cockpit, we have this command, mid-compression bypass circuit breaker pull, obviously for the TF30 engine variant only. And if we press it, or we pull it by pressing that command, we get, in some situations, more thrust from the engine however reliability of the engine decreases again out of interest look down to the right and the very far back we've got this now which is the mid compression bypass test no idea if it functions or not but that's what that's supposed to do a mac lever this is an automatic function of the engines that manages the fueling and whatnot of the engine based on the mac is automatic you don't have to worry about it next expanded compressor stall model now i've not actually managed i've tried i've not managed to fully stall an engine i've managed to get it to go bung 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 as i'm sure you will but i haven't managed to completely kill the engine yet which is very annoying rc apparently you have how did you do that do it with the high alpha pass going slowly and i also was able to do it by just ruddering over and having it kind of go out of control. Roger, okay, I'm just not getting any luck with that at the moment, but you guys go out there and try that, and I'm sure you can stall an engine. Next is hydro mechanical fuel control. Again, automatic, we're not gonna worry about it. Next, new thrust model, needless to say, I found them completely puny compared to the lovely, more modern engines in the Bravo model, but period accurate. New engine spool dynamics, you'll feel the difference as soon as you fly the aircraft. Next, new afterburner model, updated nozzle logic, and new associated audio. Next, reshape engine nacelles and added new nozzle shape. New A model specific liveries. Next, a complete external sound overhaul, including new rear aspect exhaust sounds. New intake sounds. New afterburner sounds. New external flyby sounds. New internal afterburner lighting thump. New engine compressor stalled sounds with new stalled warning. Next, 
Next, add it a simulated yaw string for both A and B models. Next, fire suppression system keybind for left and right engine. So we now have left and right engine fire extinguishers. So let's show the buttons for that. We've got left engine fire, aid and discharge, and associated right. Now the way we do it is we have to press the key to do it, or the HODAS bind. We have to, for instance, for the left, pull that out to cut the fuel. Then you can then do it. So for instance, for the right, you can't do the engine extinguish until you pull the fuel cut then you can do it. So have a play and you'll see what I mean. Next we'll see if we can get an actual engine fire and see what it looks like. Hold. Okay, go. okay we've got a left engine fire. I'm going to pull the extinguisher and to extinguish. <laughs> it's not working RC, it won't distinguish. <laughs> Let me go inside. I've definitely opened it. I can hear the button clicking. So at the moment it doesn't actually seem to extinguish the fire. I think I'm pretty sure we're using it right. You've pulled the fuel handle. I've pulled, pulled the handle and I can hear the click of the extinguisher as I click the extinguisher. Did so you bring the throttle back to negative. We're damaged pretty bad. Now the throttle's back and I'm extinguishing. Okay. Well, I guess it's, I guess it's not <laughs> working. And I'm pressing and holding to try that. Does not appear to extinguish the fire. Back to the drawing board, RC. Should we try the other end? Hold. Right engine to idle. Pull out the right fuel cut. Press the extinguisher. Press and hold. Press several times. Press single. Does not extinguish the fire RC. How do you feel about that? Alright. Guess that's not working. Well done. Huh. Oh. <laughs> I'll have to put it out. I'll have to put the baby out. <laughs> Next, mid compression bypass circuit breaker keybind. We've already been over that. Next, afterburner gate option with associated keybind. This is an option for the A and the B models that allows to put a gate to ensure that you don't or can't go into full afterburner by accident. And I'll show you what I mean. We're going to go into options from main menu. Uh, special here. Find the F14 generic. If you can see it, F14 there. This button one here. So you can have it on or off. We're going to have it on in this case. This here, afterburner gate, is something that we press once we are at mill power and spooled up to allow the afterburner to take place. So without it pressed, if I go full power on the throttle, that's as far as we go. But now if I press the gate key, we get afterburner. Personally, I prefer it without a gate, but the option is yours. And finally, new Jester features regarding fuel, a Joker and a Bingo fuel cool-out. That covers the differences with the new F14A135GR late. Once we have the other two models, we'll go over some more changes then. I hope that was useful and see you later.